Hey guys, today we're going to have a look at uh, iFinity, um, what it is, what you need to run it, and uh, what some of the advantages are to having it. Okay, first and foremost, you obviously need a video card that supports it. This is one of my 6850s, uh, HIS. Now you can see on the back of it, we have the two DVI ports, and there's also two additional ports. This one actually is HDMI which will give you video and sound going to your TV and this is the display port itself. To be able to run more than two monitors in iFinity you do need to uh, have something with a display port. On this particular card even if it didn't have these ports I could still run a two monitor iFinity just using the two DVIs. Um, the way iFinity works and the way the software works you can't just uh, use the DVI's in like a crossfire way if you had two video cards and they both had DVI ports and you tried hooking monitors to your second video card it would not work. The iFinity software will not work in that type of a setup. You have to have a display port to run more than two versions of it. Uh, this particular card only has a single display port so I can run up to three monitors with one of these cards. Um, some of the other ones that we've seen on the market have multiple display ports. A lot of them have the mini display port, which is about half the size of this. And you might see like four of them or five of them um, on the card. So you could run, you know, six, seven monitors with one of them. But you definitely have to have a card that supports um, iFinity to begin with. So you can at least do a tool, uh, two screen iFinity. And then you all, if you want to run more than two, you have to have at least one display port for three two more, you know, two display ports for four, and so on. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more about the hardware. Um, not only do you need your uh, video card that supports iVinity, but you'll need some sort of a display port adapter to plug into that display port in the back of it. If you guys watched the video uh, that we did on the uh, product showcase for these SIG adapters, we got one that's uh, display port to DVI and then the other one was display port to VGA. And these are really simple to use, really simple to plug in. Basically you just plug it into your uh, display port on the card itself. And now we just plug our monitor onto that, whether it's a VGA or if you have the DVI style of uh, monitor cable. And this is what we'll use for the hookup for our our third monitor. I am actually have one of these on right now and that's what I am running it on is a VGA. One advantage to running an iFinity setup as you can see you can stretch your desktop across the whole of the uh, three monitors. If we look at the resolution here we're actually running uh, 4320 by 900 so it's going to allow you to run ridiculous resolutions that you wouldn't be able to run on a single monitor. That's how we're able to stretch it across the screen. Um, this is great for games that support it, uh, different applications. Some things like browsing doesn't really make that much difference. As you can see here we have Yahoo's page open. Basically just takes up the center monitor. The uh, side monitors aren't really doing much. I can bring up uh, my uh, YouTube channel. Same deal, only uses the center channel. If we go to full screen on a video, as you can see, it overlaps a little bit because the resolution is a little higher than the single monitor is running, but still won't take advantage of all three of the monitors. Uh, you definitely have to have a, a real high definition movie or something to try to take advantage of all three of them, or you need to set your resolution down so that a high def video will fit in there. Some advantages to it are uh, a lot of real estate on your desktop. You could have all kinds of icons, um, different applications open at the same time, Word documents, Microsoft Office stuff. Um, this particular case, like opening up a folder, and we're all kind of used to the scrolling through it kind of thing, that trying to find what you're, you're looking for. And an advantage with this is we can simply open it on all three screens and as you can see we barely have to scroll at all. You can basically find all of the files right there. Gives you a great way to uh, easily locate music, videos, whatever it is that you're looking for. Like I said this is a great setup for gaming. 
if you're into newer games like Battlefield 3 uh, supports it, the older Battlefield Bad Company supports it, I believe Call of Duty supports it, uh, maybe some of the online role-playing games, I'm pretty sure World of Warcraft supports it. Um, once again, you're able to run these high resolutions so that if you are playing a game like uh, Warcraft where you have lots of uh, magical spells and stuff like that on the screen, that you'll be able to bring them all up on the display at once. I've heard a lot of people say that they could tell the difference between a BGA adapter, DVI um, display port. <coughs> so uh, all three of these monitors are hooked up separately. We're going to run the same video in uh, 720 uh, HD on all three of them and see if you can tell the difference or which one is which. Okay, um, this one over here, the, the first one farthest on our uh, left, that one's running a DVI connector right to the video card. The middle one here is running our DisplayPort adapter, our VGA DisplayPort. And the other one over here is running a DVI to VGA adapter. So it's just running a uh, standard VGA cable to the computer off of a VGA adapter to the DVI port. Um, basically in gaming, videos, whatnot, I cannot tell the difference. Um, some people claim they see it, but I really don't. I think the uh, quality is pretty darn good all the way around, and, and maybe the only difference would be in your monitor, if maybe you're using a lesser monitor on uh, one of them particular connections. Okay, well that's going to be it for this video for now. I'm sure you guys still have a lot of questions. Uh, feel free to ask them. I'll uh, answer them the best I can. I know we didn't cover everything about uh, iFinity here, but I think we covered some of the basics that most people might have. I wanted to show some gaming footage in like Battlefield, but because of copyright infringements, I really can't show any video clips of any games. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be able to show that part of it. But uh, anyway, this will give you a good idea how it works, uh, what you need to run it. It's not very expensive to set up. It is pretty cool. It gives you a lot of real estate. will help with uh, real high resolution games that accept it. And uh, if you need a lot of desktop, desktop space, if you're uh, using a lot of applications open at once, mixing music, videos, doing office work, what have you, school work, it could be very handy. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching.